Now, if you're among those dealing with pressure to marry, either from family or friends, this story is for you. Because being single is okay, and you have the Church of England to plead your case. And if you think that's bizarre, wait till you hear their reasoning. The Church of England says single people should be valued. Why? Because Jesus was single. Good Lord, we say. Let me explain what they're trying to do here. To make their case, they have published a 238-page long report titled Love Matters. It is a labor of love, pardon the pun, of two years of examining relationships and families. Confession time. I haven't read it. But what it says is basically this, that single people shouldn't be treated as quote-unquote lesser than those in relationships. Not just that, the Church of England, in fact, wants to celebrate singleness. And I'm not making this up because God's own son chose to be a bachelor. So the next time you're accosted at a wedding or engagement of your younger cousin by pesky relatives, you have the perfect repost. You can't be wrong in your life choices if you have Jesus for company. Facetiousness aside, why has the Church of England suddenly gone woke? Why is procreation no longer paramount? Why is marriage not the be-all and end-all of every existence? Are they being truly progressive by accepting diversity in personal relations? Not trying to play the devil's advocate, but we don't think so. Why? Because this is the same church that has been eviscerated for being too rigid, tone-deaf, and out of sync with modern reality. As recently as 2019, the church frowned upon sex outside marriage. It said, and I'm quoting, it falls short of God's purposes for human beings. Now, the recently released report by that same church says, singleness does not necessarily imply celibacy. That's a mighty change of heart for an antiquated institution. But this sudden advocacy of singlehood might be more pragmatic than progressive. Because unlike the biblical Noah's Ark, people want to stay out rather than in the church. So like aging celebrities, the church too is attempting an image makeover to steady the ship as it were. We've talked about the crisis of faith in England, how the number of faithfuls has been dwindling. The confidence in the church is extremely brittle, especially among the young. So, and the church knows this. It has to rebrand itself to stay relevant. Ironically, the first casualty of this happened to be God himself. And to refer to him as he might no longer be acceptable because the Church of England is considering the use of gender neutral terms for God. Many have slammed the decision. They say it's taking things too far. They're accusing the church of losing its way in the quagmire of political correctness. So we ask, is the church overcompensating to fix its reputational damage?